Oh my God, it's a new tool. So please like this video and please subscribe to the channel. I do this stuff all the time. This is what the channel's about. I'm spending the money so you don't have to. The, that, that's what I do. So this is a, uh, it's a big don't. So today what we are going to do is we are actually going to unbox and test out the, the brand new just released DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage. So this is the dual driver and impact driver kit. This comes with two batteries, one six amp hour FlexVolt and a two amp hour charger bag and of course uh, two tools. So yeah, this is a pretty penny and one thing I will, after reading the back, one thing I am extremely disappointed about. The impact driver is the DCF887. And so I already, I actually, I have two of these. Now I have three and it is, it's the same tool. It's like, why wouldn't you make a, a flex fold advantage impact driver instead of just throw in another 887? So yeah, supposedly the new flex fold batteries have 21700 cells in them. So we're actually gonna put that in the, uh, so we're gonna put that to the test today to see if that's actually true. We're gonna test out the six amp hour regular flex volt and the flex volt advantage six amp hour battery. Now the six amp hour battery is actually color schemed as like a nine amp hour battery. So it's mostly yellow and the six amp hour regular ones mostly gray and black. So let's unbox this and look at the specs and test these tools out and see if it's worth your money. And honestly, the only thing I really see good about this kit is the new 21700 cell flex volt batteries but who knows they might have majorly upgraded the hammer drill so let's uh unbox this and see what this could actually do all right so everything is in a bag and one thing that th this does not say made in america with global materials it, it does not say that anywhere on the box or the bag Alrighty, so let's take a look at what, of course, it comes with instructions and warranty. Two belt clips. That's one belt clip. Comes with the new handle, which let's take a look at the handle. Which, there's more metal Actually, I don't even think that's metal. That feels like it's plastic still. I might be wrong. I'm not sure if that's metal. It doesn't feel, it might be. It doesn't feel like it though. It doesn't fit, so. It's probably metal. But the rest of it's plastic after the actual hook. And so, yeah. All right, so then you get the charger. This is model number DCB1106. All right, so the charger is a six amp charger. Like I said, the model number is DCB1106. You are able to mount it to the wall. 60 hertz, 2.5 amps, six amps DC. So it doesn't say rapid charger, but it is a different, completely different looking charge than all the other charges that I have. This also charges both 12 volt and 20 volt batteries. All right, like I said, this comes with the standard, there's a second belt clip, comes with the standard DCF887, which that is literally exactly like the, the previous ones that I have. I already did a lot of videos of this. And it's the exact same tool, which that's actually a little disappointing. Should have included an upgraded version of the impact driver, which they should have made, it should have been in here. I'm disappointed, I'm very disappointed about this. Very disappointed about that. All right, so for the two amp hour, it is DCB203, which I believe that's the regular two amp hour. Nothing special about it. DCB203 is your standard two amp hour. Let's take a look at the brand new battery. This I'm excited about. 
And see, like I said, it looks like the nine amp hour flex volt batteries, but it's a six amp hour. And supposedly, like I said, supposedly these have 21,700 cells in them compared to the other flex volt that has 18,650 cells. So, alrighty, so this is the new six amp hour flex volt battery. It is complete. It looks completely different compared to the older one. I think it's no, it's the same size. It is the same size, but we will be putting this to the test to see if this actually has 21,700 cells in it, because there should be a huge. If there is, there should be a huge difference between these two when it comes to performance. Huge difference. So the tests will tell. The tests will tell. Last but not least. Brand new hammer drill. The brand new hammer drill. All right, now let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison when it comes to the 999 and the 996. They are pretty much the same size. They are pretty much the same size. Both have three speed settings. This is model number DCD999. Half inch fully metal chuck. It has a 11. Ooh. Yep, it has an 11 point clutch plus two, which is hammer and drill. For the beats per minute, it is zero to 8,500. Speed two, 25,500. And on speed three, 38,250. Now, as compare that to this, it's the same specs. It's the exact same specs. All right, zero to 450, 1300. 2000 RPM for drill, 0 to 500, 0 to 1500, 0 to 2250. It's the exact same specs. The exact same specs. So it's like, why would you make a. Uh, oh, well. Oh, this is an unboxing of this. To, we're, we are going to see if the upgrade is worth your money because, in all honesty, I think you just should buy the battery separate once it comes out. Let's do a little video of these two let's see if this is a even worth the upgrade i'm 100 i was going to do this later but we're going to do it in this video let's see if it's worth the upgrade i bet you like seriously it's like the same freaking stuff it's the exact same tools it's it just look it, it just appears to look different but there might be something there now like i do uh i heard from another source that you could put like a wi-fi chip in here the, the chip sold separately but yeah, let's see if this is worth the upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this battery on charge. Then we'll be back. I'm also going to see on how long it takes to charge this from being empty. So already last minute, uh, last minute detail. Uh, this also has the 20 minute work light on the base. Half power and low power. But yeah, it does have the 20 minute work light as well. But remember, when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. I've tested out the Power Detect in a couple of videos, the, the, the new DeWalt Power Detect. And that actually is, that DeWalt Power Detect was the only one to beat the Hilti brushless uh, hammer drill. All right, so my expectations, because this is supposed to be the Home Depot exclusive as the Power Detect is the Lowe's exclusive, I'm expecting this to perform better or the same as the power detect because if this, the specs technically are the same, but specs aren't everything because the motor might be able to take the load better than the other drill, even though the specs are the same. So on speed three, on speed three, this better do the tasks because the DeWalt power detect was able to do these tasks on speed three and I'm expecting this to do the same. And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna be majorly disappointed. The six amp hour regular flex volt. And then we're gonna do a test and they're gonna share this battery on a few tasks to see what this can do. And that, uh, that uh, charger that this kit came with, charged this up within 35 to 40 minutes from dead. Like it, 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 it seriously, was, it actually charged it up within like 40 minutes. That's actually crazy. So, but, uh, but yeah, but the charger has no fan and the charger got hot. Got safety glasses right here. All right, so we're gonna test out the 996 first. 
Battery is full. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. All right, that did it. Let's do uh, another one. All right, so ready? Go. Now that's, that did struggle. It did struggle. All right, so let's do the advantage. Let's see what the time is for this. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready? on drill that was on drill as well ready go wow i actually i actually could feel the difference in that power let's do one more all right so ready go i could feel that difference and that's with a regular battery all right so let's now do the six amp hour battery that supposedly has 21700 cells in it. We're gonna do it on the 996 first. Okay, we got the control test. We see for, for those, uh, what those actually did. We are gonna do one hole, one hole with this. Then let's change the task. All right, battery is full. This is the 996. All right, so ready? Go. All right. Now let's do the power detect. This, according to what DeWalt made these for, this should majorly, majorly increase the power to the tool. That's what they claim. That's what they claim. Because if not, there's no point on even buying this. All right, so ready? Go. We had that split. And there is, to protect your wrists. All right, we're gonna have to redo that test because that would split right there. All right, let's do that again. So as you can see, it's split. So that's not good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna see if on speed three, these can, this is a, a four by six right here. They all, what we used before was a four by four. Let's see if these can go all the way to the chuck without stopping. Speed three, it's on drill, battery is full. All right, if either of these stop, at any point, it failed the test. It failed that test. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Like I said, it's a six by six. It's a four by six, sorry. Ready, go. All right, that stopped. It failed the test. Can't get it out. Does it require speed one to take it out? All right, let's see if we can do it with the six amp hour battery, with the new flex bolt battery. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. All right. Did it. It did it. Now let's actually have this finish that. And it destroyed it. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's do the 999. Do it right here. All right, speed three. Up, oh, regular six amp hour battery first. Battery is full. Full. Speed three. All right, so ready? Go. It stopped. Oh. Yeah, it stopped before it hit the chuck, uh, before the wood hit the chuck, because it should go beyond 
the truck big time. All right, so let's do the the new amp hour battery. Right here is good. Ready? Go. See? Like I said, it should be doing a good all the way to the truck and continue to spin then all the way out. So, both of them failed to fully do this hole with the regular six amp hour battery and they both succeeded with the new uh, battery. And so first we're, we're gonna do the 996. Got a 10 inch by half inch lag right here. It's on speed one. Battery is full, I'm not sure if you can see that. It is on drill. Right here, no, we'll do it right here. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. You can do it. Time. All right, let's do the Flex Volt Advantage next. It is on speed one. It's on drill. Battery is still full. All right, so ready? Go. Time. They both did it. They both did it. All right, let's take it out with the 996. Ready? Go. One hand. It timed out a few seconds ago, so I stopped the timer at the right time. Because when it comes to this size, it just spins in its place. So yeah. It's so it is the 999's turn. Drill speed one, battery is still full. Right, let's take this out. Ready? Go. One hand. I timed out a few seconds ago. I stopped the timer at the right time. Let's see what the new battery can do with this tool. Because like I said, it, supposedly these are 21700 cells ba cell batteries. So there should be a bit of a difference. It's so ready, go. Is that in? Nope, a little bit more, my bad. Ooh, I, I drove, drove that in a little too deep. All right, so now let's see what the FlexVolt Advantage can do with the new battery. All right, so ready, go. A little bit more. Time. That did it. All right, now let's take them out. All right, so ready, go. One hand. Time. All right, so ready, go. time. Alrighty, so put it on the hammer feature. We are going to actually do, we're going to do the 996 first. It's on drill, hammer feature. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we are going to do it right here. We're going to do the, the 999 right next to it. All right, so the battery is at two bars. That should be fine. If I need to put it on charge for a little bit, I will. All right, so ready, go.
Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. We still have some to do. Yeah, it is, still has some to do. That's not good that it released the, the bit. All right, let's continue. I think that, yep, that's at the chuck. Very good, time. Time, time, time. What's the battery of this at? It's still at two bars. Plenty of life to do one more hole. Plenty of life to do one more. All right, I got a totally, uh, these are, bits are equally used. So this one is next. I'm gonna do it right here. It's on hammer, speed three, hammer feature work. Yes, it does. All right, so ready? Go. Stop, and my the bell clip got caught in my pants. Continue. The battery life at battery is life at one bar. Yeah, it seems like that battery is draining. I'll give it a second. It might just need to gather its charge back up. All right, let's continue. Yep, that's at the chuck. That is time. Alrighty, so when it comes to these two drills, there really is not that big of a difference for it to be like, oh my God, it's a new tool. Like I said earlier in the video, what you should do is you just, if you want to upgrade your 996, just go to Lowe's and pick up that power detect. The power detect blew my mind when I first started using it. And these two aren't really that, it's not that great. This is exact, this kit that I just unboxed is pretty much the exact same kit that was available uh, over the, the holidays of 2019. It's just a, a little different hammer drill with, uh, with a, a, a little better battery. You know, like it's really not that much of a difference. Now the power detect uh, is a huge difference compared to these two. These two, just how I use them, they acted the same. All right, now when I used the, uh, the power detect against the 996, I was blown away by the difference of power. The only way this would be good is if uh, someone is just getting into tools and this is like a, a, their starter kit. There isn't a difference, so I, I'm sorry, you guys, but like, uh, get the, go get the power detect. If you want to upgrade your tools, go to Lowe's and get the power detect. That's a huge difference between the 996 and the power detect and this it's just a whole dis uh, it's just a it's just highly disappointing <sighs> so that's pretty much it i just want to uh, do this unboxing and show you guys the difference between the 996 and the 999 while i was at it just because i i i don't think it's worth it i don't not not 400 bucks no way not 400 bucks when you get the same kit for $400 already with the 996. It's like, why have it at the same, almost the same price? You know, that's with taxes. So, so that's pretty much it. I seriously hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining. So please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. I do this stuff all the time. This is what the channel is about. I'm spending the money so you don't have to. The, that, that's what I do. So this is, uh, it's a big don't. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.